Alrighty, so we finally made it here to Queensland, the second Wildlands. It's gonna be first time camping here. We had a bit of trouble on the way up here, but we'll talk about that later. Anyways, we got we're at I think it's the Lundy Lane or something uh, parking spot there. So I don't think we have any portages, which is good because we're taking our TP because we might come hunting here this fall. So we wanted to try out taking that into the back country there, and we can have an open fire because we got, might have some rain and colder weather, but looking pretty good so far only one car in the parking lot we should be good but it is like nine o'clock so we're almost out of light and uh hopefully we can get there before dark but i doubt it and boat in we're setting up camp in the dark we didn't make meet the light but whatever whatever yeah we didn't beat the light but two boats in and i think my headlamp's almost dead but whatever we'll find a site this is so peaceful out here eh? just absolutely beautiful and peaceful it's so quiet out here at night just look at this Yeah, okay, so we're finally set up. We're having a little fire in our tent. And uh, I got a little smoky because it was all wet wood. But we're surviving now. And it was a, uh, we didn't get a whole lot of video today because we got here too late because we blew a tire and then we couldn't get the spare tire to release because the cable was stuck. So we showed up really late. We paddled in the dark, but it was actually an awesome paddle. I think we all had a great time. It was just peaceful. It was totally still. But then it started raining on us. So we're raining, paddling in the dark. We got here set up in the rain. It's site's kind of a mess right now, but we'll deal with that in the morning because we can't even see what we're doing. We couldn't see what we were doing on the water. There was no stars, no moon, nothing. But yeah, we brought a 20, 20 foot wide by 12 feet tall teepee in the canoe. And, uh, we're gonna be chilling in style. We're doing some backcountry glamping. But uh, yeah, no, I'm really proud of everybody. The kids did great. There we go, a little fire in the teepee. I just realized that's cold, so it's probably very warm. Yeah, got some smoke, got the mosquitoes out of the tent. <laughs> Keep some warmth. Yeah, that was intentional. Get the mosquitoes out. Where are the top of that Good morning. It's uh, yeah, it's still raining out. I guess it's gonna rain most of the day there, but we got our teepee all set up. We got the fire going inside, and we got quite a view here. Two canoes, Mad River one, the red one. That's our first trip with it. And I wish I would have put the teepee door overlooking the lake there, but that was really 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 hard to uh see when we got here because it was uh pitch black nothing there's not a star in the sky no moon so yeah but i think i'm gonna get a tarp up over the fire there so i can get a breakfast going and uh yeah see what we can make out of this day fire going here we're gonna have some uh beef bacon we call it but it's actually just uh short ribs there but uh be really good it's beef bacon and eggs and uh <laughs> i really wish this rain would stop it's been frustrating but oi 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 we'll be out in the canoe sooner or later i'm sure It's just rain, rain all day here, so uh, haven't been doing any recording really because we've just been trying to keep fires going and chop enough wood and not let the rain put it out and keep our tarp up. But uh, yeah, I'm glad we brought the CP because we got all kinds of room in here and we got the fire going. 
smoke gets rid of the mosquitoes. Got lots of room to sit in here so we're not just stuck under a tarp. So it's been kind of nice. We were going to bring our hammocks, but I'm glad we didn't because to sit under a hammock tarp all day would be uh, not that much fun. But yeah, the smoke clears the mosquitoes out and uh, yeah, it just goes right up, 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 up and away. <laughs> Yeah, we smoked ourselves out last night though. That we were gonna Definitely die. Definitely has <laughs> been a, a Try. trying day. So, yes, for sure. But uh, the Lord uh, keeps us and uh, watches over us. And we're here and enjoying this wonderful rainy day. Still better than sitting on the couch watching TV. And the Lord gives the rain to the just and to the unjust. That's uh, right. Kind of feel like we're in the unjust right now. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it makes everything grow. It makes it makes all the green things grow for the animals so we can hunt them later. It grows up the crops so we can feed. And it rises the rivers so we can have some fun. But. <laughs> Steakies here for supper. Uh, some bourbon barbecue thing from uh, M and M's. See how they go. Usually just do uh, uh, dehydrated stuff, but figured since we weren't doing portages, we could uh, take some real food because we don't weren't too worried about the weight, obviously, with the TP. I actually bought this grill last year and I haven't had a chance to use it. It's a wolf grizzly or grizzly wolf or something, but we haven't really, really used it a whole lot. But we are today. No, I'm done. All right. Yes, yeah, so dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this food and this time with family. I thank you for the safety on this weekend. I thank you for us finding our way through the dark. I thank you for your wonderful creation this great weekend. And we know that the Lord brings the rain to the just and to the unjust, the sun to rise on the evil and the good. So may tomorrow we have a nice sunny day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, so we finally got a little bit of sunshine. So me and my son are jumping out in the canoe for a little bit. We're gonna, actually going to go and see what we actually paddled through the other night because we never got to see that. So, uh, I'm gonna check it out, see what's out of here. It's kind of nice to see the sun again, though, I tell you that. Oi, yay, yay. Nice cut, bud. Thanks. Yeah, I might not have made it with the, uh, I still might have trouble making it. Oh, she's deepening here a bit. Oh, our other canoe would hate this. Agreed. Well, yeah, and even if we had the gear in it, she'd be dragging a lot worse anyways. Okay, I like this. We got all the marshy stuff there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could've. That would've been even a little more scenic. Yeah, a little beaver house. Looks like it anyways. I'm pretty sure that's a beaver. I'm pretty sure that's a beaver's house. Yeah, or maybe it's just a mess of wood there, but. You can see the looms that we had earlier. Can't beat that view from a tent. Smoke keeps the mosquitoes out. We can shove our shoes under there, dry them up. It's gonna, it's gonna be all right. 
Got out for a little canoe ride. That was awesome. Finally got a little break, but it looks like the storm's moving back in, so hunker down time. See you all tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Finally got some sunshine. Look at that. That is beautiful. We've been waiting so long. We're all beat up and sore, but we're excited because today is the day we actually, we're going to go take a canoe trip out to Long Lake. We were actually thinking of taking the teepee and everything out there yesterday, but it rained and rained and rained. So uh, uh, today's going to be the day we're going to actually go down there. I think we're just going to leave the teepee here though and We'll just go do a day trip, come back and base camp, see what it's like down there. And go through Round Lake. I think there's a little waterfalls and everything, so that should be cool. But we're just getting a uh, wifey's getting fire started, and we're gonna get breakfast going and then hit the water. This is one of our favorite breakfasts in the morning when we come camping. There's beef, bacon, and eggs. It's way over there. Man. Yeah, so we're heading out to Long Lake now, finally. Let's check out where we were supposed to camp this weekend. Didn't end up happening, but oh, is it ever nice to be out here with the little breeze out on the water. Because the mosquitoes today are fierce. They're fierce, but they're all gone out here. But see how they are on the portages there, though. But yeah, let's get going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lake, nothing much to look at here. The waterfalls is pretty cool though, that's for sure. Kind of cool seeing that. But whew, I think there's another one coming up. So let's check it out. Yeah, so we're at Long Lake here. Hello, oh, portage for not a whole lot extra. We were gonna camp on that island right there. I don't even know if we're allowed to, but that was our plan. But then we had rain all day Saturday and we didn't get here until nightfall, so it's already dark when we came in, so canceled that. But I don't know. Long Lake is it's all right, nice and peaceful. It would have been nice to camp here, but maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll see. But it'd be a lot nicer though if we just take our hammocks or our bivvies or something, and we're not carrying a heavy canvas teepee and all that other gear. But whoo, it's been a beautiful day though. sun shining that was a lot better outdoors except for all the uh mosquitoes have been crazy forgot how bad they were over the winter but <laughs> uh, it's been worse though no box flies or deer flies or nothing so that's been all right <sighs> praise jesus for that <laughs> you know just don't know if i got any blood left in me but oh hopefully none of those uh mosquitoes gave me any of that covid vaccine from somebody else they bit <laughs> 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 Remember, folks, don't do this at home. Take it outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish there's actually a lane through here so we could run it. That would be fun. But, uh, uh, makes all the suffering yesterday worthwhile. I'm just looking at that. I'll tell you what. But, oh, it's so nice to be in the creator of God's creation. So beautiful. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day and all your glorious sun. We thank you for the joys that we have witnessed with your creation there with the waterfalls and a, just a great battle today we thank you for all your blessings and the good times and the bad and we thank you for this great food 
What a wonderful backcountry glamping meal that is with a steak, potatoes, green beans. It's kind of nice when you don't got to do long portages and you can bring heavy, heavier stuff and uh, a barrel full of ice. <laughs> but God bless and dig in and eat. Amen. Oh, go. All right, let's it in. See what we got. Looks kind of nice. For all the no motor boats, I see a lot of motor boats. <laughs> but I guess it's only for people that live on the. Yeah. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Good morning while well, we're all packed up. This is the last day, so we're heading back to the truck. We gotta go get our food barrel. We put it on the little island over there. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great weekend. We're sore. We're beat up. We weren't ready for it. <laughs> Didn't do enough all winter, apparently. But, uh, anyways, it's been a great weekend. This is a great place for a weekend away. It's, uh, but now it is, uh, on, on man provincial park. So you don't have to make reservations, which is awesome. You don't have to pay, which is even better. But in the middle of summer, you probably ain't going to find a site if you're not here real early. So remember that one. But we'll take you back to the uh, boat launch there and then I'll show you where it is and everything. Because we didn't have to do any portage in here at all. We put in right into the Head River after the portage and then into Fish Hog Lake here we're at. Sorry, I kind of forgot there. But we'll see you on the way. This is beautiful, the sunshine. <laughs> That's all for another adventure. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember, don't try this at home. Take it outside.